All right, uh, 739 on a Tuesday morning. Riaz with a special guest. We just talked to uh, Kevin Craig, who uh, was first counselor at 19 in Kelowna. Another guy that started young. Made millions when he was in his teens as well. Was it 18? 18. 18 years old. Thanks very much, Doc. Yeah, Gabruk Shahal is his name. He's got a book called The Dream. And I love this story in terms of, uh, you know what, just creating your own path in life. There it is right there. You're going to be speaking tonight. Now, take me through this. I love the idea of entrepreneurship, one. And uh, you've created amazing things with uh, ClickAgents.com, Blue Lithium. When do you get your first idea when you're a teenager uh, in, in terms of just being an entrepreneur and, and doing things differently? Well, I had, first of all, it was, a, it was a dream to be successful. And uh, the idea was already out there, so I'm not taking credit for inventing something, but it, uh, there's no real big secret. It's all about hard work and out-executing everybody and making it happen. So uh, I'm glad that I was able to prove myself in two years' time and you know, be successful at 18 from that first gig. And I just learned from all of, that, all of that, started another company at 21, and took three and a half years and was able to prove myself successful again. So. And you're um, so, yeah, you know, you're so humble with your story. Your story actually was covered on, you w went to the Ober Show last year, you were telling your story. Um, millions have been made. You sold, uh, what, Blue Lithium for 400 million, was that 300 right? 300 million. 300 million. And uh, how do you develop the business acumen? Entrepreneurship is such a challenging thing on itself. How do you develop the business acumen when you're a teenager to go about launching an online company? Well, it takes a lot to defy the odds. I think a lot of it comes down to uh, the stereotype that you get put in. So I never let people know I was 16, 18, 21, 25, you know, all points when I started or ended or sold a company. Uh, I walked into a room, made them realize what I was and who I was and ignore the fact of the age that came with it. So, uh, you know, business, the business world is probably the most stereotypical, hardcore environments that you can be successful in. But you got to rise from the top, defy the odds, fight like hell and, you know, make it happen. You know, the one thing I think we can relate to is the idea of being passionate about something in life, loving what you do. Uh, when you look at challenges of entrepreneurship, you've obviously gone through it, you've been very successful. Uh, what do you think are the keys for people watching and, you know, they're launching their own companies, the key to being a successful entrepreneur out there? Well, first you have to figure out what you really want to do and, 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 and fall in love with it. Because if you do that, you're going to be passionate about it. A lot of people do stuff because of money or for cultural reasons or whatever the situation may be. They're not really doing it because they want to wake up more every morning uh, and, and, and go to work. Mm -hmm. you know? So first, if you got that made, then it's all about putting the sweat hours and equity in, in, in making things happen. So like I said, there's no secret sauce into making millions or any of that stuff that you can read in a lot of books, but it comes down to pure hard work and believing in, your, in yourself. What about, what about the idea of people? If I look at any organization, I mean, even looking at Breakfast Television, to me, what makes the show great is the people surrounding around us. I think that essentially is the most important capital you can have in an organization. Yeah, you gotta surround yourself around rock stars. So the more you can do that, uh, it's a team effort. Uh, there is no Superman in an organization. I can't take credit for doing everything on my own. Uh, it was a combined team effort, and uh, you know we all rose to the top together. Well, you know what? The book's got interesting insights on what it takes to be an entrepreneur. Uh, uh, the Dream is the name of the book, and you can catch this guy speaking live tonight at the Bell Performing Arts Center over in Surrey. There it is, Gurbaksh. Thanks so much for coming through. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having me. Big things for this man, and I just love the humble nature, because it's easy to let that go to your head, but it's anything oh, thanks. but. Keeping it real. Keeping it real. That's what he does. And keeping it brown, too. I like that. <laughs> One by one, we're taking over the world. You know, I quickly want to throw this in. Extra TV, name this guy. One of the most eligible bachelors in the state. San Fran is home, is home for you, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I think this guy could be the next bachelor on television. What do you think about that? I've gotten an opportunity. I passed on it. You passed on being the brown yeah, bachelor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do all that. I don't want to do that stuff on TV. That's so. what happens when you come from an Indian family, because my mom <laughs> wouldn't be happy with that. Yeah. Not at all, not at all. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's take a break here on BT. Lots more still to come. Stay with us. Uh, and 7 p.m. tonight, right? Yeah, see you there. I will be there. Take right. notes. All right, great.